Hello, my name is Lee Smith with Precise Motion and Control. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Sikamiya Site Manager to communicate with a remote Parker Pack controller. This application is great for OEMs, machine builders, and general users for servicing, support, preventive maintenance, and data logging their machines. Using the Sikamiya Site Manager, you can use a Parker Pack controller wherever it may be as if it were sitting on the desk next to you. First, we will hook up 24 volts to the Sikamiya Site Manager and the Pack controller. Next, we'll connect the Site Manager to the Pack via the Dev1 port or Device1 port of the Site Manager and the X2 terminal of the Pack controller. Then, we also have connected a Parker P Series motor and drive connected to the EtherCAT port of the Pack controller. Finally, we connect the Sikamiya Site Manager to our local area network via the Uplink 1 port here that goes to this switch and then to our local area network. We then open up Sikamiya Appliance Launcher for initial configuration. This will search for any Site Manager on our network as shown by the MAC address here. We then change the device 1 IP address to 192.168.10.10 to be in the same subnet as the PAC controller. Next, we will give the Uplink 1 port an IP address on our network of 192.168.140 with our router information filled in as well. We have no connection for Uplink 2, so we will leave that blank. Finally, you will need to fill in the gate manager address and domain token given to you by Sikamiya. We can also give our device a name such as Precise Demo. Now we will go to the Sikamiya Gate Manager address and select our X509 certificate. Ours is labeled lab-gm.gmc. Once selected, we will enter our password and log in. Now we will navigate to Site Manager Precise Demo, click on it, then select Site Manager GUI. Once in the Site Manager GUI, we will configure our device agent by clicking Fix in its row. Then we select New. Now we fill in the information below given the pack controller generic name such as Parker Pack 1. For device type, you'll need to select generic and sniffer. Finally, we will put in the IP address of the pack of 192.168.10.50 and hit save. This will make our new entry go into wait mode as it configures. After hitting refresh a few times, it will turn to aisle, then we can connect to the pack using our link manager account. Double-click the Start Link Manager shortcut, and a new icon will appear in the taskbar, starting off at red, then changing to yellow as it starts. Then, it will turn to green, and a new tab will open in your browser. Once opened, we will accept the terms. Next, we will select Choose File to confirm our Link Manager X509 certificate. Ours is PreciseLab-LM.LMC. Once selected, we enter our password and click Install. Then we'll enter our password again and click Connect. This opens up our device subdomains. We want to co connect to Precise Demo, so we'll click to open the selection tree, then double click on Parker Pack 1. Now we are connected to the pack through a secure connection provided by Sikamiya. You can see the amount of data packets being transferred to and from the pack to our computer and the speed at which they are being transferred. We can now use Parker Automation Manager to go online with our pack no matter how remote it may be. We can view, modify, upload, and download code, visualization, and check for components connected to our pack. We can go online with our projects while monitoring and modifying bits and variables as shown here. We can also access the Express Terminal shell by going to Internet Explorer and typing in the PAX IP address of 192.168.10.50. From here, we can view and modify Express panels all in real time. As long as the Sikamiya Site Manager has a connection to the Internet either through your LAN, Wi-Fi, or 3G, you can have all the functionality that you would expect of your PAC or any remote Parker device as if it were sitting on your testbed bench next to you.